All right, guys, so here's the review of the Watch Dives Tuner Homage. So this is the vintage orange color. So something a little bit different you might not have seen before. But if you're not keen on this one, they do actually have more standard colors as well. So I know this won't be to everyone's taste, this particular one. So bear that in mind. And as always, links will be down in the description if you want to pick up any of these. So full disclosure, I was setting this watch free. Don't have to send it back, but you know the score. So I've changed the way I do my reviews. Can I keep it 100% honest all the time, no matter what? So straight away you can probably see we've got some AR on this, it's got a slight blue hue to it. Still a little bit reflective under these lights that I've got in here, under these so-called studio lights, but you know what I mean. But I'll be showing some shots later on of it outside so you can see what it's like in more natural lighting conditions. But before we get any further, let's go over the dimensions. So to begin with, we've got the diameter, which is coming in at 47.5, which is fairly large, but given the style of watch, it's expected. Then we've got a thickness of 14.5, Lug width of 22, and then the all important lug to lug is coming in at 44.5. So, again, kind of what you expect with this kind of style of case. So, it does wear better than that diameter would suggest. When it comes to the weight of it, we've got 182 grams size for me, and then with all the links included, it's 203 grams. So, now let's get a zoom in on that dial talk about that in a bit more detail so you can see we've got a fully printed dial nothing applied and then with this particular orange version we've got the orange indices and the orange section on the bezel obviously that'll be different depending on which version you go for and that will also affect the loom as well but we'll talk about that a bit later on so we've got a nice orange minute hand there and also that orange second hand and then with that hour hand that's matching more with the color of the indices so it all ties together quite nicely i think it does look good when it comes to the rest of the watch, we've got a mainly brushed case. We've got some little polished details, as you can see on that bezel there. But in terms of the case, it's pretty much fully brushed. And then we've got that nice sand crown there. When it comes to the bracelet, it's, again, pretty much all brushed. And then we've just got a polished side, which, as you can see, does collect fingerprints a bit. And I have scuffed up a little bit when I was resizing this. So it's just push pins on this. So it can be a little bit awkward sometimes. Some will stick a little bit, but luckily you've only got to do it once. When it comes to the clasp, we've got that Watch Dives logo there, and then we've got plenty of micro adjusts, so getting the right size won't be an issue at all. And it's a milled clasp. So, again, nice that it's not pressed, as you kind of expect now. Then we've got that Watch Dives logo again on the back, and then we've got the specs around the outside, so stainless steel, automatic, and H35. The fact that it's 300 meter water resistance. So now let's check whether we've got sapphire crystal on this. Using the trusty diamond selector tool. And yep, as you can see, we've got sapphire crystal, which again is always good to see. So now let's check out what the loom's like on this. So as I said, this one's a little bit different compared to the other two, and we'll talk about that now. But let's charge it up first, give it a proper chance. And there we go. So it might take a second for the camera to actually pick this up, but we have actually got three different kinds of loom here. So we've got C3, BGW9, and then with that orange section we've got Super Luminova. So again, as I say, this is going to be different depending on which colour variation you go for. With this orange one, it might not show up until a little bit later in the video, or I'm not even sure if it's going to come up fully. But we've actually got an orange section on that bezel, so up until the 20, that is an ever so slight orange. Along with the indices, which you kind of expect given the colour of them. And then when it comes to the other section of the bezel, that is BGW9, and then with the hands, they are C3. So, interesting combination, particularly with this one. Let me know what you think. Do you think it works, or would you be going for the more standard options? In terms of longevity, obviously, with this one being Super Luminova and the orange, it's not quite as good as the other two, I don't think. 
but it still lasts a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be great. I thought it'd be more like Fotina kind of thing, but it's a lot better than that. It's really good usable loom still. So if you're interested in the orange one, don't let the loom put you off. It's still pretty good. So you're probably wondering how much is all this going to cost you? So at the time of filming this, these are going for about £100, which I think is a really good deal. Obviously that might change by the time this comes out. I think it's currently on a sale, but hopefully that'll still be on by the time I get this video out. I think with this orange one, it's slightly more expensive, but not by too much. I think it's about 110 115 something like that. So, still a good deal. And I particularly do like this orange one. Something a little bit different. So, if you after something a little bit different in a tuner, then your more standard blacks and blues, perhaps this is the one for you. So now, let's get on to the movement. So, as you probably expect, it's an Edge 35. And it does all the usual stuff. So, pop it out once, we can change the date. Pop it out again. And then the second hand stops, you can see we've got hacking. Obviously just change the time. All working well, no issues at all. Pop it back in, second hand re-engages. And then we've got hand winding. And then obviously you just screw the crown back down. Crown works perfectly well, it doesn't stick at all. Nice size in on it too. Now when it comes to the bezel, We've got a ceramic bezel insert, and then I'll show you the action on this. So it's 120 click. Nice clicky action. Does feel good too. And we've got no back play there at all. And when it comes to the alignment, you can see absolutely spot on. No issues there either is always good. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up. So here's what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. And as I said earlier you can get the perfect sizing with that clasp with plenty of micro adjust so not going to be slipping around. Also it wears a lot better than that diameter would suggest as I said earlier due to that shorter lug to lug. Yeah it's still quite thick but overall I think it works well and it's balanced out nicely by that 22mm lug width. So when it comes to issues I have with this, there's not really many. It's more just to do with that crystal. There's still a little bit too much glare there for my liking. The blue hue to it I don't mind too much, but I know that might put some people off. So obviously being clear would be better, but just a little bit more AR either way. But for the price you're paying, it's still a really good deal. So the question is, is that a deal breaker for you guys? And if you're interested in picking one up, link's down in the description as always. But that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.